Sector, we're continuing to watch this morning semiconductors. Shares of AMD and Intel both down over 16% in the last month. NVIDIA falling 10% from its all-time high that it hit back in March. Now, the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index also dropping over 10% from its record highs, putting it into correction territory. For more on the recent moves we're seeing in the chip space, we are joined by Patrick Moorhead, More Insights and Strategy founder and CEO. Patrick, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Uh, Let's start with what we heard from TSMC. We had executives calling out some slowness that we might be seeing in terms of demand for the overall sector. Was that a warning sign that investors need to listen to for the rest of this earnings cycle? Yeah, so I think there's there's some conservatism that's going into what TSMC is bringing out. And I think it, it's, it's the part of the market that is an industrial industrial IOT that I think is 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 concerning when it comes to big silicon on bleeding edge process like what Nvidia and AMD and Intel and Qualcomm have there's no issues there one thing we should keep an eye on though is Apple right we saw mm -hmm. a very large decline in Apple sales uh, from forecasts that we've been seeing in the industry and that could have a little bit to do with that. Some of that is shifting over to some of the Chinese manufacturers. Patrick, is there no room for error from these uh, chip manufacturers this earnings season? Because even just judging by the reaction that we're seeing to TSMC's results and some of the commentary that we're seeing and the ripple effects that it's having more broadly speaking across the chip sector, it almost looks like they're priced to perfection at this point. So. I think that's getting a little ahead of ourselves uh, on that. I mean, I think there is still this insatiable need for data center AI silicon. In fact, uh, a lot of NVIDIA's best parts have six, nine months lead, lead times still, and they just can't get enough. And every one of those AI installations typically have to be paired up with a modern CPU from Intel or one that's designed uh, from ARM. And then you have this upcoming, what I like to call the PC and smartphone super cycle that, that isn't being placed in. So I think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here in some of the doom, doom and gloom. I mean, there's a lot of TBDs when it comes to the inflation numbers and interest rates here in the United States and around the globe. And I think those, in addition to what is going on with the conflict in the Middle East, are giving people a, a little bit of a wait and see attitude. Hmm. So, Patrick, what's going to give investors more confidence? Because when you take a look at the reactions, at least this morning, is this a bit of an overreaction then, you think, to the downside? I think it's an overreaction. I mean, listen, the the high end semi space and everybody in the value chain, uh, the stocks have have just shot up like like rockets. Uh, the AMDs, the Nvidia's out there. And by the way, anybody affiliated with that, which is Amazon, Microsoft, Google, uh, and Meta, and I think you know this this is just a a cautious blow, likely some profit taking and some jittery. Uh, reactions from what's going on with interest, interest rates in the Middle East. So really quickly here, Patrick, our final minute with you. Is every dip for some of these names viable at this point? It's really not. I mean, especially when, when you have a run like uh, companies like in, NVIDIA has and, and anybody who's related to that or a competitor to, to NVIDIA, I think people are playing a little game of chicken, which is you know, they get a spurt of bad news and people want to sell, sell the name. And they realize that it's not a real gloom and doom and they jump right back in uh, uh, to their position. Patrick Moorhead, always great to have you. Thanks so much for coming on and joining us once again here at Yahoo Finance. Moorhead Insights and Strategy Founder and CEO. Thanks so much. Thank you.